Hello everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations! I hope you're all having a wonderful time out there. Are you ready for court? I'm ready for court. Or... More investigating things, why not? Let's do it! But what's up, hello, hello to everybody. I hope you're all having a wonderful fortnight out there. I know, that's a horrible thing to say. I shouldn't be saying Fortnite stuff. No more of that. Let's go see what's going on with everybody. We have done a lot last time. We talked about the mask with Look At Me. But let's see where else we can go. There has to be someone else we can chat with. Or somebody we did not chat with. Let's see. Hmm, I'm trying to re I'm trying to remember what did we do last time. It's been quite a while, that's for sure. The mass hideout. Oh, the detention center. No, not there. Wait, did we already do everything we need to do? Oh, the letter. Yes, I remember now. The letter. Look at me. Told me to look at the letter here. Hey, Nick. Remember what Detective Atme said? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. You'll need it to go and investigate. There we go, I remember now. A green envelope, huh? Looks like this is it. Okay, let's have a look. Let's be evil. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring $50,000 dues. <laughs> Fifty thousand. I wish I had that much, though. Th th this is a blackmail letter. It sure looks like a major clue, all right? Oh yes. Written w written with a finely tipped fountain pen and nothing more. My dearest Ron Delito, I want fifty thousand dollar dues, please. Your senpai, Pixel. Somebody ding-donged. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take but a second, I promise. Didn't she see us read the letter? Oh, thank you for coming. That's so nice of you. When I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. Please come on in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Oh, Nikki boy, I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Ah! You... You're... Oh my goodness. Larry Butts is back? Nick, it's you and Maya too, what a fluke. Ah, welcome, Sammy. Ah, Larry, long time no see. What, you know each other? N Nikki boy. Nick, do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? Something? If you mean what I th I underestimated you, Nick. A gorgeous lady like this. And married too? Way to go, dude! I knew it. Just when things can't get any worse, it's time to cue in the bots. You have some exciting knees? I know, I have exciting knees too. Let me show my knees. Larry Butts, ever since grade school. He's been, not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. Hey man, that wasn't nice, that was your very first client. We've got quite the storied history here and I. And what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it you it's usually the Chain Chomps. What's up Chain Chomp, welcome, welcome. You're almost done with this game. Well what, you want an applause or something? You're getting married, what? Applause for that too? Hey, come on now, you're embarrassing me. And in front of this pretty little thing here? So you two are old childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go ahead and catch up on old times. You appreciate it? And Sammy, you're getting married, like really married? Like how, when, when, what, how, when, when, what, where, when, why? Explain yourself. I'm gonna go check on my bike. The bike is my boyfriend. Nice girl, that Desi. So how have you been, Nick? You proposed to your GF. Man, I wish I had a Minecraft GF to propose to. 
or any of them. She said yes? Well, congratulations, Sammy. Congratulations to you and your GF on the marriage proposal. May you two have a lovely time when the day comes for the marriage. Hey, Nilify. Welcome to the stream. This is cute. Why, thank you. I really appreciate it. But yeah, Chain Chomp, how's it been going with you? I haven't heard from you in a while. So what have you been up to this whole time? It's been two years since I've heard from you. And what's with those clothes? You look... Well, weird. Hey man, that's uncalled for. This is my uniform for my part-time job. But I can't believe it's been two years. Hey Alex, what's going on? Chain Chomp, you doing good? Good. Ah, uh, let's see. Nilifi, I Nilifi, 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 I would just call you Arrow. I'll call you Arrow. How about that? Hold on, let me try. Nilifi, uh, Nilifi, Nilifi, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. You got me. You got me. Is Nil? You just making it more than Nil? Okay, so it's okay. Call you Arrow. Gotcha. One of these days, I I'll probably get it, and I'll be like, "Hey, it's Nil for your roots." Maybe that's it. And you know what else? Woman, you don't trust him anymore. To me, I only trust if you ever get in call. If I ever get in call? Getting... Do I know you? The wedding will be next year. Can I be the best sloth? I'll just be hanging on- I'll just be hanging on the balcony like, Mmm, what a nice wedding that- Oh wait, I'll be the sloth on the cake. There we go, I'll be the sloth on your wedding cake. Oh, you're in the soyver, gotcha. You just changed- you said you changed your name, right? It pronounces Funny Man 555 Gotcha, that's Arrow's new name right there, Funnyman555. And you know Benefer? What kind of name is Benefer? Benefer? Oh yeah, Chain Chomp, the recent YouTube updates though. The new YouTube studio. I don't like it. It's so slow. I keep going back to Classic, but it keeps forcing me to the newer YouTube studio, which is so slow. Also, does anybody know somebody named Benefer? Who's Benefer? It's so Garbo, I agree with you, man. It's it's like, man, the first thing I the first thing I come to YouTube, our new slow update. Like it. Or else leave. It's like, I don't want that. That's where I met the famous caddy time and my whole life changed. But yeah, Arrow, what's up? How's it been going how's it been going lately? But wait, you said your new name. What was your old name? Please remind me. Benefer, Caddy Tom, I never heard of either of them. Anyway, dude, Caddy Tom chose Hollywood over me. Can you believe it? Well, actually, anyway, sounds like you had quite the adventure. Woman, they're so, so, ah. Uh. Oh, but, but you're different, Maya. You're not like the rest. Yo, you're doing good, chilling after work and working on a commission. Gotcha. But what's your name on the server, just to make sure? Cause I don't know who Nilifin Nilifin Yabaru is. Who is that? <laughs> you have a friend whose name is Ben. No Pixel Dog. I want to know if you know someone named Benifer. If you don't, in the future when you have a child, name that child Benifer and meet me 20 years from now. Oh Nilifon Nilif. Oh my god. Oh wait, you're on the Mystery Skulls thing, right? Mystery Skulls server. That one. I was gonna say, like, wait, what, who, what, where, when, why? But what commission are you working on? Let's see, you have a friend, okay, ready for that. Your friend's girlfriend's name is Benefer. At least that is what she wants to be called. I don't believe you. Nobody wants to be called Benefer. I picked this up last night while I was working. A wallet? You say you found this last night? Yeah, it had a driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return it myself. Ah, Ron's wallet. Hang on. Let me see that for a minute. I knew it. Desi's picture is in here. Larry is stealing? So do I. Like, this blue can I just stole from the fridge. Not sponsored by blue cans, so don't worry about that. Yeah, I guess he really digs his wife, huh? So wait, Larry Butts wants to go with Ron's wife? What? Hey, Nick, it's not what you're thinking at all. No, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed a bit. 
Oh, no way, man. I mean, she's a married woman. That's just bad news. He really is here just to check her out. So you say you found it at your job, right? Yeah, I'm working for a private security company as a guard. Chicks just love a guy in uniform, you know. A security guard, huh? So that's what that uniform is all about. Yeah, you have st I've stole two. I didn't steal anything. There's no proof. But yeah, I'm gonna... Arrow, what kind of commission are you working on? And Sammy, your fiancé, says hello. Well, tell her the sloth says hello, too. Do I have Link's Awakening? Yes, I do. I've streamed... I streamed it twice already. I love the game. Such a great game, though. Have you been playing it, Chain Chomp? Let's see. Arrow says it's gonna be a logo. You'll post it in the mystery server when you get more time done on it. I gotta say, Arrow, did we ever chat in the voice chat or not? I don't think I have. The thing is, Dana has so many friends that I don't even know about. I know about Pomp and Splatter and the others, that's... and others. Huh, let's see, Chain Chomp, you're getting it later today? Oh, you're gonna have so much fun with it, it's a good game. I love Link's Awakening, it's so beautiful though. And Alex, you have proof, it's the Link's Awakening stream, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to stream Link's Awakening right away, but the thing is, I felt like it's too early since almost everybody streaming it is playing it, so it's like, yeah. But I wanted to play Link's Awakening so bad, it's so cute though. This theme is a bop? It pretty much is, it's Larry's new theme, I like it. I wasn't expecting him to come back though. So now we got the key card from Juan's wallet. Oh, remember you accidentally got three copies? I remember, Sammy, you said you were gonna give me one. So you sure about this key card? Oh, Arrow, you're pretty quiet, honestly, and just recently been added to the server. Gotcha. I was... I got added in there because of Dana, and because of that, I got to meet her friends. And I get to see the reason why I hear her from across my room every single night. All I hear is, ah! That's all I hear from the room, like, every single night. I don't know how she is. She's an extreme extrovert. I'm an extreme in introvert. And it's like, every time she talks, it's like my energy gets sapped away. Which is why I'm a sloth right now. Or always been. Let's see... Sammy, no you didn't, but I thought you were gonna- I thought you might give me one so I would give it away and I would look like the good guy. I would be the good sloth! Keycard updated, gotcha. Leaves a record. At least you're playing Apollo Justice, that's cool. Hey man, be serious! Sammy, you already sold them, minus one. Oh, you sold them already, cool. If Master Mask doesn't look out, he's gonna be the victim of a robbery himself. When Larry steals somebody's fiance? Alright, I think we're good on that. Now we know that the key cards get leave a record every time they're used. But wait, hold on. My badge. Oh, he doesn't know about my badge? Come on, he's supposed to know about my badge though. Wait, maybe he might know about the camera data? Nah, that didn't work. Chain Chump, you're under third case of trials and tribulations. Gotcha. Hey, Larry, what about this? What, if you got something to say, then say it already. <laughs> huh? A blackmail letter? Do you know anything about this? Nani, I don't know anything about Alexis, and that's the truth. Alexis? Huh? What? I can't believe you do this to me. I thought you were my friend. $50,000? I don't have that kind of money. Neither do I. Welcome to my world. No, no, you don't understand. This blackmail letter was sent to Ron Delight. Woo! Man, you scared me. I almost had a heart attack, you idiot. You baka. Wait, I'm the idiot? Man, I was totally confused because it says KB Security right in the envelope. Um, yeah, so what? That's where I've got a part-time job at KB Security. <laughs> Nani? Sounds like I should really find out some more about this KB Security company. Ah, uh, can we go there now or not yet? Ah, uh, here we go. Let's see, Alex, uh, oh yeah, I'm not sure how you're gonna play Apollo Justice. You know I can stream from my 3DS, right? 
If I can just get the Apollo Justice game, put it in, play it. It's a DS game, I can make it work. Don't worry, Apollo Justice will happen. I've been playing... I play 3DS games on my YouTube channel, so it's not much different. That's where I work, yeah. In fact, I'm on the job right now. Huh? So what are you doing here, then? Well, the boss is away right now, and you know what mice do when the cat's away. Yes, yes, they eat all the wires. Anyway, how far away is this company? Let me see, about 30 minutes by car, I guess. Well, if you fly down the road anyway. So this guy took 30 minutes away to... I'm surprised he's not fired yet. Your fiancé says they might have a sloth on the cake we don't know yet. You don't have to, though. That sounds really odd. People will be like, why is there a sloth on the cake? Because a streamer told me to put it on it. Well, this apartment building is pretty close to Lowerly Taylor, right? And it would take roughly an hour to go from here to KB Security and back. If Ron Delight was at KB Security when the robbery, robbery occurred, then... Oh, you're playing on your phone and it looks pretty good. Oh yeah, there's an Apollo Justice on the phone, right? I don't... Wait... I think the 3DS version also has Apollo- the 3DS also has Apollo Justice. Hello, is this the right residence? Ah, Pearls, where are you? Oh, a favorite animal? I appreciate that. Sloths are great. I thought I'd go to Lordly Taylor to find- blah, 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 blah. Let me repeat that again. I thought I'd go to Lordly Taylor to try to find some more clues, but... I'm afraid I've gotten lost. Well, sh give me that phone, Nick. Pearly, where are you right now? Um, I was walking along and I found myself in front of that person's office. That person? Who? Um, that person who doesn't act his age and always says Zavari when he's excited. Chain Shot, my favorite gamer. I don't know, but let me tell you the worst gamer. The worst gamer is Pixels by Night. Don't ever watch him. I don't know why Pixels by Night decided to make a channel. All he does is be mean to people ban him, and then he just says, he doesn't say curse words, he is so disgusting. <laughs> We're coming to get you, Pearly. Alright, I'm a little scared. You can check which ones are the best versions, Alex? Gotcha. Wait, Arrow, you have so many tabs open, you're conf- Wait, why do you have so many tabs open? That phone call just now sounded like a real cutie. Another one of your- <clears throat> Special friends? Dude! Dude! She's nine! Uh. Oh yeah, did I check out the Pokemon Sun and Moon Bridge yet? I did not. I've been freaking way too lazy lately, I gotta stop doing that. Let's see, we gotta go way to- Oh yeah, she's that at me. Pulling up fonts, talking to commissioner, finding references. Oh, arrow, I- The thing is, I like- Going for commi- I like going to artists for commissions because they're so great. Like everything you see here, the sloth on top, commission. Sloth on the left, commission. Me. I'm not a commission, but I could be. BB awesome with the pogs, I guess. Okay, pogs, 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 pogs. Can we replace all the pogs with pogs? Can we just say the dog name instead? Pogs, pogs, pogs. I love pogs. I wish one day, like, I actually get a dog in here, running in here. I'll just pick it up, hold it up to the screen, and just show that for two hours. That's the stream. Be like, I don't want to play the game anymore. Dog screen time, come over here. And that's the stream, just nothing but dog. Wouldn't that be great? Doesn't it look like something's changed since we were last here? Oh, there's a big, there's a big bag on the table. Who left their bag on the table here? Did somebody leave it in here? We gotta check in here. Let's see, what's inside this bag creeper oh you can't see the creeper <laughs> that, that's been cleared out it's a creeper controller ah oh, wow that joke is ruined dog stream 24 7 that would be great though it's like in between my streams it's just a cam on the dog the whole time and it's like hey nick come on open it up creeper Hey, wait a minute, we can't just open this private property? Of course we can! Don't be such a fuddy-duddy. This is an important investigation. 
That's true. And truth be told, I have to admit, I am kind of curious. Well, what's in there? Hang on a sec, I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Well, hello there. Ah, uh, he's here. Funny man 555. What are you doing, sir lawyer? Oh man, he is funny. I'm shocked to see a servant of the court. Ignoring the law so flagrantly. I'm really sorry. Maya made me do it. Nick, I can't believe you. A gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse for his own poor behavior. Let's see. Oh yeah, my friend said Fortnite and I said you did the F word. Fortnite is the new F word now. Watch your mouth with the F word. Don't say Fortnite. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lollygagging around here? What do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. Tomorrow's trial... Zavai. Shall we say the figurative? Sir William will be dropping his panties before lunchtime. Cause what? At me was Funnyman555 all along. To be honest, I think I might agree with you on that one. I think I can agree with you. Um, what's gonna happen at the trial tomorrow that's so dramatic? Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, Sir Lawyer? It was becoming a lawyer in the first place. Oof. That certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Nick. Tomorrow will be a day to remember. I look at me. We'll take the stand. And then, Zavai, my testimony will prove to be the undoing of the lot of you. Mmm. Yes, all of you. I will unmask you with my giant eye. Conspirators? <laughs> You're quick on the defensive, I see. However, it is not that uh, it is not I that is your greatest enemy. There is a far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. What are you talking about? Sir Lawyer, if you truly are who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is Godo. I believe that's his name, right, Godo? Godo? You have taken a step down the path of foolishness. Mm. To try to defend a career criminal who deserves nothing less than the death penalty. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Mr. Delight is really the mask. <laughs> My dear lady, times may change, but people, sadly, do not. Well, you will understand this when you are more mature. Um, who is this Godot person? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Godot, the prosecutor whose equal cannot be found in this country but in heaven. Godot, a legend or myth, men pin a lifetime of hopes on the chance to simply meet him. Prosecutor Godot? But the best prosecutor in the country isn't Godot, it's Mr. Edgeworth. You're dang right it is. Isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this. But Ace Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is, sir, is currently traveling abroad. Huh? In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledges who acknowledged Godot as the best in the country. And you agree with that? Most certainly. In fact, you could call him the Luke Atme of the prosecutor's office. Ew. Well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. Mr. Nick, is this Godot really that strong? That's right, we're gonna fight. We're gonna punch him. Hmm, I seem to remember hearing about someone like that. Not surprising. Some people spend their entire lives idly waiting for his appearance. It looks like we're done investigating for the day. <laughs> so, lawyer. The stage has been set and all the pieces are finally in place. All that remains now is for the dance to begin. Ah, oh, so we're going to the dance tomorrow. A new prosecutor, an ace, detec an ace detective, and a thief. This will be one tough trial because no one died. How can we solve this if no one died? Alex, your opinion, but you like the phone version better than the 3DS. I see. I see, but I think I'll just play the 3DS version, I guess. I think that's the only version I got. October 13th. October is almost here. The spooky month is almost here. Hey, Nick. What is it? Is something wrong? Nah, but did you see all the people here? It's crazy. Oh, so check out the Master Mask Glossy I bought. You bought? 
Wait, Pete, you bought this? Where? From the little tent in front of the courthouse. They have all sorts of things for sale. Ah. Uh, you know I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna use this photo as evidence. Come on, I'm guilty! Throw the book at me! Who's screaming like that? Oh, Mr. Wright, you made it. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did, but it doesn't look like things are gonna get any less ugly for you. Because I did it! I'm the criminal! Me, me, me! Uh, yeah, Alex, I think it makes sense because the phone has a bigger rough... Because they have a better... Because the 3DS resolution is too small. The 3DS resolution is only 240p, so on the phone, of course things will look smoother. I sent the calling card to Lorley Taylor. I admit it! But you don't have the secret urn, right? Well, that's true, but that doesn't mean that I didn't commit the crime. Normally, when I say of course you didn't, I'm being sarcastic, but you... Yikes! Anyway, I admit that I'm guilty. So make sure they give me a guilty verdict, please! Oh, there you are, Ronnie. Bonjour, sweetie. Oh, Desi, honey. Bonjour! Well, actually, I don't really know why I should be speaking French to you at a time like this. Leave it to me, Ronnie. I swear I'll protect you. Um, uh, well, you see, actually, the, the... Can I tell you something, Nicky boy? I... Big yoikes! I can guarantee that my Ronnie is innocent. If he's declared guilty, I'll be ever so cross with you. Because that means no Ronnie means no money, and no money means no life, and no life means no motorcycle, no motorcycle means no red jacket, and this red jacket makes me look hot. So why are you smiling when you say it? Well, if you excuse me, I've got some errands I need to take care of. I'm counting on you, Nicky boy. Good luck. Alrighty then. To be honest, I really don't know whether Ron is masked to mask or not. But there's only one thing I am sure of. He doesn't have the secret urn right now. Mr. Delight, it's time for you to enter the courtroom. For the time being, I guess I'll have to trust Desiree. Here we go. Let's do it. It's court time, everybody. Bottles up. Let's go, Doe. He... Court is now in session for the trial, Mr. Ron Delight. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Holy heck, what's with the mask? Wow! It's like me in an alternate dimension if I have white hair. It's like the skin tone is the same-ish. What about the prosecution? Are you prepared to... What a stupid question. What did you say? Fine. Let me ask you then, Your Honor. Are you ready? Are you ready to pass judgment? N no, I I'm not. I will pass judgment after I hear arguments from both sides. You really enjoy him as a character? Oh boy. That tells me something, at least. Well, if you're not ready yourself, you shouldn't expect others to be. That's a rule to live by. Um, who are you? I am Godot. Pixel, are you ready? I don't know. Legendary prosecutor, I've never lost a case. That theme? Something about this theme is making me calm. Ah, he's the one that Detective Amy was talking about. Yes, your reputation precedes you. What kind of cases have you dealt with so far? Ha, huh, none. What did you say? I've never prosecuted a case before. N never but you said you've never lost before. Exactly, I've never lost. I've never won before either. What? No. Quite arrogant for a beginner, aren't you? Even the mightiest of Redwoods begin their lives as mere saplings. Yes, but a mask? In a court of law? Huh. Don't you know anything? No matter the man, we all wear masks. Either on our face or over our hearts. <laughs> you can't have lost if you haven't won. 
you're right. This guy is the real- this guy is the real deal, alright, Nick. Why does it seem like all prosecutors are the real deal? So we finally meet Mr. Phoenix tonight. Oh yeah, this is big brain- I wish I had that effect where it's like big brain time. It's like, yeah, let me expand my brain for a bit. It's big brain time. He says Mr. Phoenix tonight. Huh? Nick, is he a friend of yours? No, I don't have any friends that call me tonight. Just who is this masked man? So this Master Mask and Mask Godot. He's like Lucina with the mask. Mask Lucina, the mask fighter. I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. Well then, uh, uh, pr Prosecutor Gobo. Gobo. It's not Gobo, it's Godot, your honor. Gobo. Can we call him Gobo? Phoenix versus Gobo, you Gobo. I feel like that's an insult, calling somebody a Gobo. In any case, please give your opening statement. Opening statement? Those things are not fit for even dogs to consume. I have only one thing to say before we start. To you, Mr. Trite. What is it? Are you familiar with the saying, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link? I wonder... How much you can withstand before you and your case break in two? Oh boy. Well then, let's hear from the first witness. I said the H word? Don't call me a gobo, you gobo! Um, my name is... No one has asked for your name, witness. Oh! Oof! Gumshoe, I'm sorry! The important thing is what you know, that's all. Start talking. We're listening. Rip indeed, Rip Arena. Yes, sir. Alright, witness. First, let's hear about what you know about the thief that stole the urn. Yes, sir. Stop bullying Gumshoe. Hashtag stop bullying Gumshoe. Master Mask is a master thief that first started his crime spree six months ago. He's so confident that he sent his calling card before he even commits the crime. This was his fifth heist, and as usual, he sent a card to Lorely Taylor. His pattern is to always go after only the most precious art pieces. That's why we're sure it's, it was Master Mask, sir. It fits his M.O. to a T. His M.O. His mom opportune. Hmm, so then the actual identity of this Master Mask is... Mr. Godot! What are you... Did he... Wait, where'd that coffee cup come from? Did he... Who slid that down? Where did it come from? Who passed him the cup? Where did the cup come from? It just came out of, it just came out of nowhere. We're in the middle of a trial here, Mr. Godot. Blacker than a moonless night. Ghost. Pixel dog dead. Coffee top. I don't know. So... CB says ghost, Pixel Dog did it, so Pixel Dog is a ghost, confirmed, gotcha. Blacker than a moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. That is coffee. I'm sure you can grant me at least this much, your honor. Oh, please, proceed. It just came out of nowhere, can I get a table that shoots out snapples for me? I want that. It's only coffee, after all. It's lying, it's full of blue can. What? You can't be letting him slide this early in the trial. Proceed with your cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Well, Nick, what are you going to do? As long as they haven't brought up Mr. Delight's identity, all we can do is show that it wasn't Master Mass who stole the urn. By the way, since October is coming up, I'm curious on one thing. Any games you want to see me stream? Any specific, you know, Spooky Month games? I'm thinking about streaming some Spooky Month games that on October and see how they go. It's only coffee. Courthouse proceeds to be drenched in coffee. Why is there coffee in my shoes? Arrow says do it. I don't know what to play though. You need spoopy games? Well, Arrow, you want to help out with those spoopy games? Because I don't know. He's so confident that he sent his calling card before he even commits the crime. This was his fifth heist and as usual he sent a card- Oh wait, I'm doing a cross-examination. Sealant Hill, Spooky Minecraft Maps. Hold on, I need to... Oh, no, I don't want to open Minecraft. No, 
Don't open Minecraft. Open up a notepad, not Minecraft. I was about to open up Minecraft like a fool. Oh, wait. Dang it. Minecraft is opening. Close that thing. I don't want Minecraft. <laughs> I, was, I don't know. I was trying to open up notepad, but then it opened up. It just opened up something else. It just opened up something else. Hold on. I'm going to open up a new notepad. But yeah, let me see. Why is there a bug on the light? Notecraft. I love Notecraft. So I can do special spooky Minecraft maps. Ceiling's Hill. And you, wait, Arrow, what is Spooky House? I don't know what Spooky House is. Have you been involved in the investigation from the beginning? We're gonna play Minecraft right here, right now. We're just gonna switch over. Yep, nobody knows more about the thief than me, pal. It's true, I'm a Zavadi, Arthur on Thieves. And Arthur? He's written books about thieves? Um, I think he probably meant to say authority. The fact that this guy can slip through even my fingers shows how good he is, pal. It's easy when those fingers happen to be butterfingers. Yeesh. So nobody knows more about the thief than you, huh? You got it, pal. Except maybe for the thief's mom, that is. But isn't there someone who knows even more about him than the police? You don't mean Detective Zavadi. Oh, Arrow. I did a YouTube video on that. So I've already played through that game. I know, I know, I know which game you're talking about. That I did a YouTube video on that, like two Halloweens ago. But let's see. I'm also thinking about playing Resident Evil, but it's like I don't know about Resident Evil. I don't know. Do Doki Doki Literature Club. Let me type that down. Doki Doki Literature Club. Should I stream it or play it on YouTube? I have no idea. His name is Luke Gabby, sir. I guess I shouldn't have made such made up such a silly name for him. What the heck? I guess he's not all that famous after all. Anyway, it's true that he didn't manage to retrieve the last item the thief stole. So every prosecutor has a special thing to them. Apparently so. Oh, I see. It seems you're not the expert you claim to be. Poor gumshoe. It looks like the thief is toying with me even now. Well, YouTube, you'll be, able to, you'll be able to censor some of the stuff. Well, I think for YouTube, I'll just have to put a disclaimer at the front, like, viewer discretion is advised. I think for stuff like that, I think it's, like, I don't know, because the game, from what I've heard, the stuff does get pretty crazy, so it's like, if I censor that, that's taking away the game. I'll just put a, if I do it on YouTube, it's going to be a disclaimer, like, at the beginning of every video, like, this game contains this, 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 this. For your discretion, is advised. You have been warned. Something like that, though. Have you seen all of these so-called calling cards? Of course I have. Except... Hey, Pixel, play FNAF. FNAF. The thing is, I don't have any FNAF games. I really don't have any FNAF games. I would have to... I don't even have FNAF VR. How much does that thing... How much does that cost? I mean, I could play that, but how much money do I need? FNAF VR. $30? I need $30 to play a game like that? Oh my goodness, I don't even have that much in my wallet. Two FNAF games are free. The person in charge of the treasure exhibit never brought their card to the police, so I didn't see this one until after the crime occurred. That's because Detective Batman stopped Miss Andrews from taking it to, pol to police. Was the calling card that Lowly Taylor received authentic? The 6-1 and Ultimate Custom Knight. Wait, there's one free? Hmm, all the cards have one common identifying feature. I think I'll just get the first one, the first FNAF, and see how that goes. But for these spooky games, should I stream them or YouTube them? Just curious, I want to know what you think. I want to know what you all think, since you're all here right now. Y all of you right now, you're, all, you're the only people who watch myself. <laughs> but we're not releasing that info to the general public. But you're absolutely certain that this card is real. Gumshoe can't say it out loud, buddy, but he's talking about Mass to Mass Emblem. Stream does sound good. I can make a highlight out of it, right? Okay. How about for an October 1st stream? October 1st is a Tuesday, so we'll start off the spooky month with FNAF 1. Would that be good? 
Objection, pal. That ain't fair. Maybe you could say I screwed up four times. But this last time wasn't my fault. I didn't know about the calling card this time. So yeah, Arrow, is that fine with you? Do you, do you, you I guess you want to see me play spooky games. But also, you said Silent Hill. Any specific Silent Hill you want me to play, though? You of all people shouldn't be chuckling about this, Gumshoe. Chain Chomp's back, and more bored than ever. By the way, Chain Chomp, any spooky game suggestions for October? If you ever get a calling card from this guy, don't call some stupid private eye. Call your local police right away, got me? Wow, looks like he's really gotten in for Detective at me. His pattern is to always go after the most precious art pieces. Art pieces? Like what, for example? Hey, Pixel, play Baldy. I already played Baldy, but I'll put it on the list. Bald Man Adventures. I'll type that down. Bald Man Adventures. Well, his first target was the famous Tear of Eminon. I know you're writing it sarcastically, but I'll put it on the list anyway. I'll just put Bald Man Adventures. No, sir. It's a blue diamond. A single rare diamond. Next was the Crown of Bongora. You know, the thing you put on your head. Yes, the, the Crown of Baloney. After that was the left hand of Hades, then the portrait of Magina, sir. Detective Vatmi retrieved the portrait of Magina and returned it to the museum. And the target of his fifth and last robbery was the sacred urn, right? But isn't it difficult for him to dispose of such famous art pieces? Well, we assume he must have some underworld connections. Somehow Mr. Delight doesn't look the type. Yeah, he's a little too sunny to be hanging out in the underworld. Like me! No, I'm too dark. That's why we're sure he was Master Mask. What do you mean when you say it fits his M.O. to a T? I was thinking of asking the same thing myself. Pixel is just going to stream and get to that and is going to wonder what is Bold Man Adventure. You're right, Alex. I'm going to be like, is that, an, is that an Android game? It sounds like an Android game. I'm pretty sure that's an Android game. Bold Man Adventure. And it's just me! Bold me! And so, since this robbery seem, seems to fit all those conditions, that's right, it means that Master Mask is behind it. Nick, it definitely looks like it was Master Mask who stole the urn, but there's no real evidence either way as to whether Ron Delight is Master Mask. But, but, also the urn hasn't turned up yet, let alone in connection to Mr. Delight himself. So even though we know it was Master Mask that did it, maybe for the time being I should try to show it wasn't Master Mask that did it. Pixel, remember Frog Detective? I remembered that with the Sloth King and everything. I did a YouTube video on that. That was that was a long time ago. I remember playing it because of the Sloth King. That was like one of the main reasons why I played it though. That's why they're sure it was a master mask to a T. Hmm. The thing is, they're sure it was master mask, but Huh, could it really be Master Mask at a time like this, though? I feel like I should show the security photo. Hold on, I'm trying to- wait, that's a huge difference. The smiling face emblem, it's not on the chest. Ah, oh, dang it, it's not that. It wasn't that, but I know that I gotta put something there. That's why they're sure, but how are they sure, though? Hmm, treasure to cure rain. Okay, that happens. That's why they're sure. Hmm. But yeah, Pixel Dog, what about Frog Detective? You just mentioned it, but what about it? Hmm. That's why they're sure it was. Could it be the camera data? I could play the second one. Wait, there's more? Did they just release a new one? I didn't know they released a new one, though. He's so confident he sends his calling card. His fifth heist. Huh. The thing is, I remember playing the first episode. I don't know if they released the second one. That's the thing. That's why we're sure it was Master Mask. But how was, how was he sure if... Hmm... Okay, interesting. Hold on, let me see if they did release a second one. 
Frog Detective Steam. Okay, this is just a fly. Flying around. Why? I can see you right there. How'd you get in anyway? How did that fly get in? Why do they always get in, though? Always bothering me, though. Let's see. Oh, wait. There is there is another one. Oh, it's not, out, it's not out yet. Frog Detective 2, the case of the Invisible Wizard. It's not out yet. It says release date this year, but that's just it, though. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. They're sure it's him. Oh, yeah, but we to we just talked about it. The Sacred Urn, it hasn't popped up yet, so... How can you be sure? How can you be that sure? Can I ask you a little something, Detective Gumshoe? Just hearing the little in that question is making me nervous. You said that he always goes after the most precious art pieces, right? That's right, pal. But there's one problem. That's not what he did in this case. The supposedly priceless urn doesn't exactly rise to the level of precious art. Y what do you mean? Nick, how can you say such a terrible thing? No, I mean, I meant from a financial point of view. I mean, it wouldn't fetch a good price. Well, good though, what is the value of that urn? The appraisers I spoke to you said they couldn't attach a price to it. And I mean that in the worst sense. So in other words, it was not the kind of item that Master Mask would normally go after. <clears throat> That's right, because it's zero. Hmm, I, if I understand you correctly, Mr. Wright, you're saying that the death of the Sacred Urn was not the work of Mask to Mask. I, yes, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, Pixel Dog, if you have any other recommendations, that's cool, go ahead. Actually, all I did was point out the contradiction. The argument made itself, but... Well, first of all, we need to get this issue cleared up. Was this last robbery the work of Mask to Mask or not? What do you have to say about this, Mr. Godot? Coffee is good. Everybody drink your coffee right now. This coffee here. It's my own special blend. I call it Godo number 107. He makes his own coffee and it slides down the table? How? I'm trying to decide whether to cut down on the, the, the acidity or the bitterness. That's the only thing I've got on my mind right now. Mr. Trite. What? If you're really a man, you should clean up your own mess. Um, sorry, but I don't get what you mean. If you're saying it wasn't Master Mask that stole the urn, then it must be someone imitating Master Mask's method. A fake. Two? A fake the mask? Fake the mask? That sounds so ridiculous, but I like it. Where did it come from? Now, before I decide on my coffee, I believe some proof is in order, Mr. Trite. Proof that the person who appeared at Lowly Taylor that night was- Oh my goodness! Ah! Always giving me heart attacks with that sound, man. I never expect these sounds, and when they do, it's so loud on my speakers. What's going on? What's going on, Skylar? What's up with you? You actually got me out of time that you, you actually got me. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> it's from Bowser. Hmm, don't I don't- Though I don't approve of Mr. Godo's behavior, his point is valid. Mr. Wright, we're waiting. It looks like I'm going to have to prove it. I need proof that the person I literally tailored that night was in fact fake the mask. So we gotta prove that he's a fake though. And I did- Think I did show it earlier because- on his chest, there was no emblem. Duh! In the uh, publicity photo, there is an emblem. Oh wait, Sebi, you know a scary game. Donate or sub to Pixel as a jump scare tactic. The thing is, I don't really get a lot of these things, so when it pops up, it's like, oh my goodness, thing happened, something happened. Nothing, just chilling here, watch a slaw play game. Must be a magical slaw because you can understand what I'm saying. I don't know if that's a weird thing or a f foolish thing. Skylar, you're being foolish. The proof is right here. But yeah, Sage, how was the stream last night? I got to catch you last night too, if you remember, after <laughs> last night all the time, huh? Sipping a little too much blue can, I say. 
This looks like a photo taken by a security camera. But if you look closely, you'll notice something peculiar about it. Hmm. Ah. Huh. Well then, why don't you go ahead and show us what it is? Go on, use this pointer and show us just what about this picture is so peculiar. Exactly, he doesn't have the thing around his neck. It's right here, of course. You mean, mask the mask? I have here a piece of reference I would like the court to take a look at. Isn't that the publicity photo I bought this morning? Yes, but it helps out. The problem I have with the security camera photo is the brooch on his chest. A breach? Here? Bailiff, get my steed! We need to retreat at once! Wait, does he ride a horse here? A, a brooch, your honor. It's a sort of class for holding one's cape on. Foolish is your middle name. Now, all the time, you wish, though, but you're trying to lose weight. You lost 15 pounds so far. Nice going, man. I'm proud of ya. Man, I wish I can gain a bit more weight. I'm a freaking stick. Look at me. Look at me. I just start tearing off everything. Look at me. Nah, but I'm a, I'm a freaking stick. Anybody can just pick me up and toss me over like a piece of paper. Oh, he's no, he has no brooch. That brooch is the same as the emblem on the calling card and serves as a symbol. But the thief that broke into Lorley Taylor wasn't wearing a brooch. In other words, this master mask is a fake. Oh, I've been fooled again! But yeah, Skylar, it seems that we both have the same middle, middle name. Foolish. The name is Pixel Foolish Rodriguez. Order, it's true. Undeniably true. Gumshoe, how, how could you have overlooked this? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know how I... That coffee cup just keeps coming down. Where does he throw away the old ones? Hey, now. You're an all-star. If you're gonna have a pity party, invite me too. Mr. Godot, you deserve some blame in this too. How could you have overlooked such a large brooch? Huh. The brooch you're talking about? That's me drinking Snapple right there. Do you mean this? Godot's like me, but instead of coffee, it's an apple. Ugh, that, that, the brooch. Where did you find it? Well, I've always had a good nose for evidence. I got it at the crime scene. It was hidden in the shadow of a big female Buddha statue. Buddha statue? You must mean the Amy Faye statue. Why didn't you tell me about that, sir? I always put evidence away, away in my pocket, just like Phoenix does. Oh yeah, me too. I found evidence. Just let me put the evidence away and nobody else will know where it is. There we go. I got evidence. After all, it's the safest place for crucial evidence. <sighs> this guy's one cool customer. He's drunken four cups. How many more cups will he drink until he's like, I can see the future? And you think Detective Pikachu has a coffee addiction? I think they're the same person. If Godo has a Poke Sona, it's Detective Pikachu. That's his Poke Sona. You see, Fifth, it's a little early to be shaken up, isn't it, little lady? Oh, wait, Alex, you're counting the, the amount of coffee cups he's got, right? That's what he said too earlier. That little friend of yours left, left pretty little hickeys on there too. H hickeys? Figuratively speaking, of course. I'm referring to Ron Delight's fingerprints. Hickeys means different things, you know. What? What? The defendant's fingerprints are on the brooch. Ooh. Order in the court. Mr. Godot, let's see that brooch. I've grown attached to my metallic girlfriend here. Take good care of her. I've also kissed it. Hmm. She, I mean, it appears I've been torn off some clothing. Have been torn off some clothing. There's a little bit of cloth left on the back. Obviously, there must have been a big struggle that night at the crime scene. Uh-oh. Phoenix, we have a problem. Uh-oh. Ha! Huh. You mess with Godo, And you get burned. <sighs> He's been playing me like a violin. The world's smallest violin. Well, Judge, I'm about ready to call my next witness. Huh? You're done with me? But I haven't proved anything yet. You've proven your own incompetence. That's good enough. Ooh. That doesn't sound good at all. 
Bailiff, bring the next witness into the courtroom. Finally, time for the ace detective to make his appearance, huh? Huh. 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 Ah, one second is one drip of the coffee pot. Let's hurry it up. Shh. Silence. <laughs> now I see it's all becoming clear. What's clear? Zvare. The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. What we have here is a judge and a prosecutor, a coffee maniac at that. Am I correct? He's at seven cups? How is his heart still going at this rate? I think he has a heart that only runs on coffee, like if he stops drinking coffee, his heart will stop. Much like how sharks have to keep moving, otherwise if they stop, they die. Well, yes, that's right. Ah, not bad, not bad at all. You're the first person that's ever been able to penetrate my secret veil. Well, sir, prosecutor, let me introduce myself. My name is Luke Gatney, ace detective and rising star illuminating the heavens. For a second there, I thought he almost said rising star illuminati. I got a bit freaked out right there. Boy, these two make a perfect pair. She ships them. They'd either be best friends or they'd tear each other's heads off. S still ship them. I've heard that on the night of the crime. You were all alone on security detail. You have heard correctly. Illuminati confirmed. Hold on, we need a... Confirmed. My specialty main monocle is worth more than 100 Detective Gumshoes. If Detective Gumshoe was worth anything, that is. <laughs> ah! Hmm. Why was this guy all by himself anyway? There must be some reason. I'm sure of it. He's being a weirdo right now. Well, tell us what the special monocle of yours witnessed. <sighs> what he witnessed? Let's find out. It was approximately 1 o'clock in the morning, just after the day changed. That's when my nemesis, the infamous Master Mask, dancingly descended upon me. Just as I began to turn, the coward struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. Darkness swallowed me before I could land a single strike. When I awoke, he was gone. Thirty minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. To notify the police? So you didn't get a clear look at the criminal. My specialty main monocle never misses a thing. However, that is limited to things that fall within my own visual range. But of course, that's only natural. I fail to see why the witness seemed so proud of his performance that evening. Same here. Well, sir, old-timer, let me explain. We are not speaking of any ordinary thief, but of the King of Thieves, the Great Master Mask, my arch-enemy. That is what my instincts and my years of experience tell me. Hmm. Very well, proceed with the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Don't mind if I do. What I witnessed. Let's see. It was one o'clock in the morning just after the date changed. I wish I had a date. <gasps> So that would be 1 o'clock on the morning of the 12th, correct? That's an impressive deduction, sir lawyer. You were on security duty that night. Where exactly were you at the time? A penetrating question. I was in the basement warehouse near the computer. Near the computer, huh? So then you weren't trying to remain hidden, I take it. Up to this point, I have tried to remain concealed while waiting for the thief. Yeah, he said the same thing yesterday, too. Gumshoe also said that they've never spotted the thief at the crime scenes before. Precisely, that is precisely why I chose not to hide last night. I knew that by not concealing myself, I would be putting pressure on the thief. Looks like the thief was the one applying pressure. On your pigeony head, that is. In any case... That's when my nemesis, the infamous the Master Mask, dancingly descended upon me. He danced on my head. Dancingly descended? From where exactly? Well, from the entrance, I suppose. Where else? So in actuality, he neither danced nor descended. Someone please save me. Um, so how is it that you didn't notice the thief? My eyes were looking for the deep shadow while my ears listened for his footfalls. But even so, the dastardly criminal managed to sneak, up, sneak upon me. It can only be due to his subtly camouflage cape and soft-soled shoes. Hmm. I hereby W A stunts. Ooh, can I get a badge that says A stunts? 
instead of an attorney badge, can I get a badge that just says a stunts? Or a cap, where it just says stunts, a stunts. I'm in a stunts. Just as I began to turn, the coward struck a fierce blow upon my noble head. The A stunts, Pixel A stunts. Do -do -do. You didn't see the criminal's face when that happened. Well, that's the difficult part. How should I put it? I saw his mask. That's all I can recall. Hmm. That's not very solid as far as testimony goes. However, fortunately, I had my third monocle, the security camera, at the ready. It captured his image perfectly. This should be sufficient, I believe? Hmm. Well, as long as this photo is authentic, I don't see a problem here. Well, Mr. Godot, do you have a problem with the photo? Mm mm. Delicious coffee, I take it. Snapple. It's Snapple. Good, let's continue on. Hey, Delton, welcome to the stream. What's going on? How you doing? Attack them, knock them unconscious, and you weren't able to do a thing. That's certainly some very impressive detective work. Hmm, well, sir, lawyer. Have you ever been suddenly struck on the head? Huh? W well, actually, yes, by a fire extinguisher. He remembers that from the second game. From the second game, he was struck upon with a fire extinguisher, and he remembers. And what happened? He did a whole case with no memory. I was knocked out. I'm all right, Dalton. Thank you for asking. And you lost your memory, too. You see, you have no right to look down on me then, do you? Well, yeah, Dalton, I got a question for you. Do you have any game recommendations for me to stream on the spooky month? One month from now will be the spooky month. So if anybody has any spooky game recommendations for me to try out for the spooky month of October, let me know. He may have brains, but the wire into the self-reflection part seems to be severed. In any case, that was how I was knocked senseless. And then... 30 minutes later, I used an emergency phone to notify the police. About this 30 minutes, my silver cord was loosened, and my soul fled to the golden halls of Elysium. As usual, I have no idea what this guy is saying. I think he's saying he was out cold. So what happened during these 30 minutes? No one can say, Your Honor. That span of time has truly vanished into the ether. Just what is he going on about? There's something suspicious about Detective at me. How could he have not noticed when the thief came in? Also, he says he was knocked unconscious before he could fight back. The Outlast games? Oh goodness, I've heard about those. I've heard those get very spoopy indeed. I'll put that down on the list. Outlast all. So, so far I got spooky Minecraft maps, Silent Hill, Doki Doki, FNAF, Baldi, and Outlast. Just the, just the usual stuff, I guess. <laughs> Let me get back to the- there we go. Oh, which piece? The real question is, why would he tell such an obvious lie? Let's see, 1 o'clock in the morning, that's when his nemesis appeared, and then struck a fierce blow on the head. Darkness swallowed you before you could land a single strike. When you awoke, he was gone. Hold on, there has to be something about that. Oh, wait. Wait, the thing is, how can... It was torn off, so he said before he could land... Landing, so from what he's saying, he didn't land a single strike. But this brooch looks like it was torn off, so basically, he did fight. It worked, thank goodness. Mr. Atme, could you take a look at this with, your, with that special monocle of yours? Ah, this belongs to the criminal mastermind, my arch nemesis master mask. Hmm... It is, in point of fact, Master Mask's brooch. It was found on the floor of the basement warehouse. I wonder how that happened. Ha, huh. elementary, my dear lawyer. Obviously, it wasn't glued on well enough. It wasn't glued on well enough? Not quite. It clearly shows signs of having been ripped off a piece of clothing. Ripped off? Ah. We can only deduce that the thief... Struggled with someone that night. That's the only thing I can think of. No, dang it. Messed up there. And there's only one person that was in a position to have a struggle with the thief. The only person that was on security that night. You detective at me. Ugh. That's right, he's lying. Sip a snapple to that. 
Detective Atme, you must have fought with the thief that night. So why did you lie in your testimony to the court? Witness, giving false testimony is a serious crime. Uh, I... no. W we're just a morning, sir, old-timer. Don't talk to me like I'm living in a nursing home. <laughs> I just remembered, Your Honor. I was just confused because I've been dealing with so many cases lately. The true measure of a man and the amount of work he does. That's what I always say. Nick, you can only handle one case at a time, isn't that right? You talk too much. <laughs> Witness, so are you not saying that you and the thief fought? Hold on. That's quite enough, Your Honor. Excusez-moi. Another coffee cup. Save the big questions for the testimony. That's one of my rules. Indeed, I understand. I look at me. Agree completely. Oh boy, okay. Another one on the way. The fight with the thief. Indeed, it's true that I looked away from the door for a brief moment. However... Look at me cannot be so easily discombobulated. Unfortunately, the thief grabbed the weapon from the side and... Rendered me senseless. A true gentleman fights only with his own fist, but they were not enough. His first blow struck true, bam! And that's all she wrote. Bam! So in the end, you did catch a glimpse of Master Mask. Correct. It was during his third crime that he struck me from behind. It seems that my memory has become a tad jumbled, so to speak. Hmm. Well, that's certainly understandable. I myself always get confused about which testimony goes with which case. D d that can't be good. Really now? And he's still the judge? He's still the judge after all that. Oh, judgy, judgy, judgy. Indeed, it's true that I looked away from the door for a brief moment. So why did you look away from the door anyway? In addition to the camera, I have prepared a variety of other sensors as well. The alarm on one of those have gone off, so I had to check the data. That's why I went to the computer. Elegantly, of course. So basically, he went like this. This is how we did it. Oh, the, al the alarm went off. Elegant walk. Here we go. Then he sat down with poise, crossed his legs, and checked it out elegantly, of course. So you were momentarily vulnerable when you were working on the computer. What should I do? Should I ask some more questions? Hmm, maybe about the computer? So did that computer belong to Lorley Taylor as well? Correct, well, except for the program that manages the data. Fabulous! With a shocked face. He did it all fabulously, elegant typing. Oh yes, I gotta do it! I wish I could type like that, just go That was specially designed by me, look at me. In that case, he could have easily man manipulated the data. <laughs> What's wrong, sir lawyer? However, look at me cannot be so easily discombobulated. Um, what does that mean? Discombobulated? Hmm. Young people these days, they really irritate me. They allow perfectly good old words to die until everyone forgets what they mean. Is this guy a... <clears throat> Boomer. Sorry, but what exactly does it mean anyway? Now, I'm a f now I've forgotten. What was I saying? Jeez, it's better than old people who forget what they were saying five seconds ago. Well, it looks like we've cleared that up. You can go on with your testimony. We cleared nothing up! Unfortunately, the thief grabbed the weapon from the side and rendered me senseless. What do you mean by weapon from the side? Naturally, that thief had no idea that I, look at me, was hiding in the area. He grabbed the sword from the statue that was standing by the door at, to the warehouse. Sword? You mean the sword that was all twisted like a tree branch? Correct. Fortunately for me, the blade was not sharp. Okay, so he is talking about the Shichishito. So the thief armed himself with a sword. And what about yourself, witness? Well, he was playing Fire Emblem, so he had no weapon. You had that much faith in your own fighting abilities? But of course, in college I was the second in charge of the boxing club. I'm sorry if I failed to find that appropriately impressive. However, my opponent in the ring this time was my arch nemesis, Master Mask. 
He grabbed the sword and stabbed me, but it did nothing. It just went like this. Why isn't it working? Just, what are you gonna do, stab me? Quote from man who just got stabbed. This guy's a real piece of work. His first blow struck true, bam, and that's all she wrote. Can you tell us a little more about what happened? Master Mash used sword, but nothing happened. Sir Fetch used the leak, but something did happen. I'm telling you, if Sir Fetch used the leak, somebody would have died that night. Instead of Master Mask, it was Sir the Fetch. Actually, that sounds good, Sir the Fetch. I would love to see Sir Fetch in like, mas in like Master Mask gear, just stabbing somebody with a leak. My opponent was both powerful and vicious. You might say he was powericious. Mm hmm. But powericious? I assumed he had me fighting stance, but a sudden flash of light blinded me. That, of course, was checkmate. My opponent had bested me. What do I do now? Should I ask more about this? At me fighting style? What is this at me fighting style? I'm sorry, but that's a trade secret. I really can't say anymore. But. I suppose I can tell you if I absolutely must. The main thing is to put your back to the wall. That way no one can get behind you. He used a perfectly char- <laughs> Hold on, Dalton. He used a perfectly sharp chainsaw against me, but my sheer awesomeness, beauty, and fabulousness kept me from dying. <laughs> it just came towards me. It didn't do anything. That's it. That's the at me fight me. That's the at me fighting style. That's right. The chainsaw. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, what about that testimony? It was very important. Of course it's important. We've learned a detective secret technique after all. Yes, indeed. I remember to use it if I ever take a walk alone at late at night. Put your back at the wall. Why the heck is he eyeballing me like that? It's creeping me out. Oh, so the judge is gonna do the at me fighting style where he goes back where he goes against the wall. Phoenix comes out with a chainsaw made out of his hair, and it really hurts. Imagine a chainsaw made out of Phoenix's hair. That thing would absolutely kill, wouldn't it? Phoenix's hair would absolutely kill. But the deep blow landed upon your third eye. It destroyed your clothes, but it only made me look even more elegant. Oh my. Um, where's this third eye you're talking about? Oh, it's right between my right and left eyebrows. It's quite invisible to the un unenlightened. You may call it the forehead if you like. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? I mean, I got a, I got a third, I got a third eye too. I, I swear, I'm definitely not drawing this up because I definitely do have a third eye. It's just invisible to the enlightened, though. I do have a wonderful third eye that only others can see, but nobody else can see. It's on my forehead, but I'll show it to everybody just this once. There's my third eye, everybody. I have one, just like, just like, look at me. It's a beautiful third eye, isn't it? Everybody can see it. You're all enlightened now. Yes, I can do it too. So, Lori, it looks like the creases in your own forehead are getting deeper. So, Mr. Amy got hit in the forehead then. That's what he says. Hmm. I was, I was wondering, can you, can like you, oh, you can't even see the eye. I did draw an eyeball. I did draw an eye. I should have, I like, I actually drew an eyeball, but the ca camera didn't even catch it. I should have drawn, I should have drawn something bigger. I don't know, I got a funny feeling about that. Actually, so do I. He has a third eye, but he certainly doesn't have one brain. It's split in half into two brains, gotcha. Yeah, what is it? This look at me guy, he does, he's definitely hiding something. But why? I think I'm starting to figure out what really happened that night. And about the true nature of this detective. He died, but he lived. So it has to be on that last one right- oh, Dang it, I made a mistake. It's about the whole look at me style. He put his back to the wall, but the shitty shito. Oh, exactly, because the shitty shito hit him on the back of the head. 
But how can he get hit in the back of the head if his if he was back against the wall? Objection! He's lying again. How dare he lie to me? Detective at me, your de your testimony is crumbling like a house of cards. What fun is this, sir lawyer? It is truly a pleasure to cross swords with you. And now, once again, you have thrown down the gauntlet at my armored feet. He no- oh, he no-clipped. The sword no-clipped. Basically, this is how it went. So just imagine, look at me right behind the wall. This is how it happened. True story, though. No clip. And there you go. Absolute proof of what happened to look at me during that night. I believe this is what you said yesterday. No, the coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. And then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. From behind, huh? But just now you testified that he struck you on the forehead. I hardly think you could forget where you were hit on the head. Ugh. It seems I've made another mistake. Mm -mm. Detective Admi, that is not the only strange part of your testimony. W what do you mean by that? For example, the very fact that you hit the calling card from the police itself is strange. It's almost as if you were afraid they were going to help with security. Ugh. Geniuses such as myself have always been misunderstood. How sad. That's wrong. Whoa, that was his voice? Objection! That was a beautiful voice. To err is human, to forgive divine. Humans aren't machines. They have souls, feelings. Also, by the way, just want to make sure it's one thing. To people who have been, like, clipping stuff and trying to paste the links in the chat, you can do that now, I think. I think I fixed it. I just want to make sure. They live, they die, they love, they hate. And yes, they even make mistakes. Chain Chomp, why do you keep leaving me? Do you hate me? Do you not love me? Hey, hold on, it's not as pretty as that. Whoa. That was an apple in there, I just saw the snapple. Godot, you and me are the same, brother. We're both the same, brother. Really, what is it like, then? <laughs> Always chase a riddle down to the end. That's one of my rules. Hmm. Somebody turn off the lights. This is it. This might just be my chance to turn things around. Mr. Wright, what exactly is it that you're asserting? Very well, Your Honor. The defense asserts that... Mr. Mr. Amy is a fake. He's missed him. He's master mask. The answer is simple. It's all clear to me now. Detective Luke at me's true identity is actually master mask. Yay! Ooh. Order in the court, Mr. Wright. Hey, Nick at Al. Nick? What's up, Nick? Oh, hello. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? There were too many unnatural parts of Mr. Atme's story. He says he was hiding at the crime scene, which is why no one ever saw him there. And then, in his last case, he manages to outperform Detective Gumshoe and the entire police force to miraculously, miraculously retrieve the stolen treasure. Th that's because I analyzed the crime scene data and made an exquisitely de elegant deduction. I picked up clues that the police overlooked in order to arrive at a... Mm -mm. Oh, please. The explanation is far simpler than that, Detective at me. It Alex! Okay, no need to yell at me, though. It says Nick at Alex. How about I just call you Nalex? I'll call you Nalex because we already have another Alex. Alright, so your new name is now Nalex. Enjoy. But Mr. Wright, this photo clearly shows Master Mask. I have another- I have another question, though. H how How can he- How can he fit that nose in the mask? His, his nose is like Pinocchio size. How can it fit in that mask? Am I going the right way? He shouldn't have been able to manipulate it. He didn't need to manipulate it. 
How can a nose like that fit in that mask? He gained access to the warehouse under the pretense of providing security. Then he simply dressed up as a thief and stole the urn. So the ace detective is actually an ace thief. Is this true, witness? And I'm an ace slop. <laughs> the mask contains a portal. If I open up my mask, you'll see it's the Shadow Realm. The mask MO is pure genius, and so am I. Look at me, t t Ace Detective. You're very clever to have come to such a conclusion. I'm impressed, Sir Lawyer. Man, I'm glad I got that laugh out. What? Witness, you... You're admitting it? Nick, now's your chance. Yes, yeah, time to put the last nail in the night in the guy's coffin. He moved his nose up and put it down. You mean like this? He just he just went like this? Wait, what? Did he just throw coffee at me? Godot blend number 102, my personal favorite. Man, I would never throw my Snapple at somebody. Maybe Alex, but not me. I wouldn't throw it at anybody else but Alex. Actually, I might throw it at Chain Chomp, but nobody else. Yeah, I'll throw it at Chain Chomp instead. Throw it at you, you drink it. Sure, Skull, you can have it. Aggressive recommendation. Here, my favorite. <gasps> Just like that. It's like, here. Would you like to take would you like a taste of this? <laughs> that the whole time. The face. Mr. Godot! The ace detective is actually an ace thief. I smell a best-selling novel. There's only one problem. It simply isn't true. Delton, you don't know how much I wish I was sponsored by Snapple. I would have Snapple all over the stream. If they sponsor me. You just see the big word Snapple right here. But Mr. Godot, Mr. Wright has made some very strong points, and I... And I oop. I will, admit, I will admit my opponent has woven a compelling narrative out of whole cloth. But it is in fact nothing more than a patchwork quilt, Mr. Trite. If this detective really is the thief, then show us the proof of your claim. But it had better be as hot and as perfect as the coffee dripping down your face. Now, Alex, I don't know about those games. What is best? Wait, what's best fiends? While while coffee is dripping down his face, I'm gonna search up best fiends real quick. Best fiends. Best fiends is an app game. Best fiends a world on your mobile. That was a phone game. It's like I'm not a big fan of phone games. I tried playing Pokemon Masters, and I only did it for one stream, and that's it. And Pixel ooped. And I- oh! Well, Mr. Wright, don't just stand there. This court would like to see this decisive proof you have. Pixel plays Angry Birds. Chain Jump, now you're just revealing secrets. Alright, so time to sell out. If you go on Patreon and go donate to my Patreon, you can suggest games and do everything too. If you want to suggest Angry Birds, I'll have to be forced to play it. La 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 la. Okay. Huh? What about Mario Kart Tour, Pixel? I don't know if I'll be playing Mario Kart Tour, but money! I know, Chain Chomp, I know. I know, I should probably be a bit- I should probably be a bit less enthusiastic about that song I just did. Maybe just let- I sound way too happy during that song, I should be like, less happy about that. I shouldn't be very happy about accepting people's money like that. I'd like to finish this right now if I can, but can I really do it? You can pay in V-Bucks? If you use the creator code, Pixel, it will all go to me. I'm just kidding. I don't even have a creator code. I would have to play Fortnite more. Next time on Pixels by Night, Pixel plays Fortnite. He becomes the Fortnite streamer. He becomes the worst streamer ever. Because he can't build like everybody. How the heck do people... How do people do that? Just make buildings like that. Just go like this. How do they, how do, they do that? How did he build so fast? The decisive evidence, I don't think we have it though, so yet to be found. Proof? They are not human. 
Oh, but I'm not human either. Yeah, just what I thought. A man has to hold his head up high no matter how bad things get after all. But wait, who's getting Mario Kart Tours coming out tomorrow, right? Uh, I see. I thought perhaps you had some evidence to back up your assertion. This is no good, I've got to stay on the attack. I'll never get another chance to prove that this guy is the thief. Hmm. Don't give up, Nick. Think harder and try again. It's no good, I'm just not ready yet. But, but, are you gonna just give up and let us lose this? Okay, I'll lose it right now. Uh, let's see, options. I'm losing right now, everybody. The lead software. And Alex hates Fortnite? Mm. I mean, I'm not a big fan of Fortnite myself, but I did like three videos on my YouTube channel. But it's with my editing, so it's pretty it's pretty good, I I the way I edit it, I guess. So you've come to your senses, have you, Sir Lawyer? I uh Well Chain Chomp, I don't think they all fell into the sloth's mouth. You missed his mouth. You think Fortnite is a game? I think it's more of a movie app, isn't it? Mr. Godot, if you have anything further to add, then... But thank you for the five bits, Chain Chomp. Thank you for that. Wh wh who? Desi! Who are you? That doesn't really matter right now, does it? Mr. Light, what are you doing here? Nikki boy. The thing you've been looking for. I think I found it. Oh, the bag from... Look at me's office. No, not the bag. What's in the... Oh, it was in Luke's bag. He stole it. Th that's the sacred urn. Nick, it's the urn. People are going crazy. They love that red jumpsuit. They were like, oh, look at that jumpsuit, honey. We got to get it. M Madame, that urn, where did you find it? You'll never believe it. Oh, bye, Alex. It was in the office of Mr. Fancy Pants Ace Detective. Look at me. Oh, Desi, you're the best. There's pink splotches all over it. Well, how do you explain that one, Mr. At Me? <laughs> Even you're gonna have a hard time weaseling out of this one. Oh, what now? Ha, huh, pathetic. Mr. Godot, do you have something you wish to say? Yes, Your Aunt. I said Nalix, not Alex. There's a difference. Yes, Your Honor. It simply amazes me how quickly times change. In the old days, a man was to be taken at his word. It's truly sad. You're still denying that Mr. Atme was involved. Before casting aspirations at Detective Atme, consider the young lady here. Your name is Desiree. Desiree Delight, is that correct? Yes, what about it? Ha! <laughs> how charming. The lengths that a woman is willing to go save for her husband is truly inspiring. What are you insinuating? As the wife of the criminal, you could have discovered that stolen urn anywhere. Including the office of the good detective here. Oh. So you found the urn, what does that prove? It certainly doesn't prove where the urn was before you found it. What? I just brought it here for the detective's office. Please, madame. This town is already filled to the brim with lies. Any more could only compound the tragedy we have been witness to. You're wrong! I, I would never! I would never do such a thing! Mr. Light? Please, Nicky boy! You've got to help me talk some sense to these, into these people! There must be some way! I've got to prove that Urn was actually in the Atme Detective Agency. Fingerprints! Chain Chomp's gotta go, I get it. I'm boring! Alright, see ya, Chain Chomp. I can prove where the urn was by the fingerprints on it. Have a good day as well, Chain Chomp. Good day, night, wherever you are. Oh, come now. Now you're really making me laugh, Sir Lawyer. Fingerprints indeed. May I go on? Good. Now, it would be perfectly understandable if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who was guarding the urn in the first place. In any case, I'm always in the habit of wearing gloves, as you can see. So unfortunately, my fingerprints wouldn't be evidence of anything. What about it, Mr. Wright? This witness's fingerprints would mean nothing anyway. 
Nick, what are you gonna do now? I've come too far to turn back now. Amy must have brought the urn back to his office yesterday. And there, I'm sure someone must have left their fingerprints on it. The defense proposes that the fingerprints of this person should be on the urn. Wait, who touched the urn, though? Who had the urn? Did... This pink splotch is all over it. But many people also touched the urn, though. If Luke Gammy didn't do it... Who did, though? Let's see... Did I... Somebody touched it, though... Oh, wait! Didn't... We saw it in the box! The first night, we saw it in the box. It was labeled... It was a... It was a box in the ground. And I think I picked it... Could it be me? But it could also be like... It could be Maya or Pearl who did it. It could have also been... Eight, no, Adrian didn't do it. She's security. I don't think she touched it. No, somebody got though. Gloves, gloves. He didn't touch it. Could have been, it's either me or these two. I'm gonna give it a shot and try me. Oh yeah, because I did t I did pick it up. So what is all this fuss about fingerprints anyway? Mr. Atme, do you recall the events of yesterday? Cosmos, thanks for the follow, you rule. Hey, Nick, come on, open it up. Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open this private property. Of course we can. This is, a, this is an important inves investigation. Well, what's in there? Hang on a sec, I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard. That's right, because we did touch it. Well, hello there! Apparently, it fell very hard and smooth at the same time, so it's like... Hmm, pretty nice. It's true that I didn't get a chance to look in the bag at that time, but... I did touch what was inside. Nani, you touched it? And I remember it very well. It was smooth and hard. Well, uh, th that was just... Your Honor, I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on that urn. If my fingerprints are on there, then it proves that the urn was in his office. Objection. Well, even if your fingerprints are on the urn, it was a bowling ball. If, if Godo ever brings up that it is a bowling ball, I'm gonna scream, CB. That is a good, that is a good counter-attack right there. It's like, Godo would have said, well, you didn't see it. It could have been a bowling ball, and that's it, case over. It still doesn't prove when they were put there, does it? Of course it does. N Nani, did you say? It's not what I say, but what Adrian Andrews, the person in charge of the exhibition, said. I polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. If she polished it that much, she must have removed any and all fingerprints on it. And then the only chance I had to get my fingerprints on it after that was yesterday at the detective agency. Uh, this blend, Godot blend number 107. I've decided. It's a little too bitter after all! Is it smoke? Is it smoking? Oh goodness, it's about to explode, isn't it? That's crazy! Poor Godot. I accept the defense's request. Bailiff, take the Zern and... Wait. Wait a moment, Your Honor. There's no need for that. No need you s No need you say. Precisely. I already know Mr. Wright's fingerprints are on the urn. None of you are you saying? Yes, I've finally broken him down. <laughs> Take a good look, everyone! Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown! This guy is nuttier than a fruitcake. <laughs> oh, see ya, Pixel Dog. Thanks for coming. Hopefully, you got to see me laugh before you leave. 
You see, it was me all along. I am the one and only Master Mask. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy my little performance. <laughs> Laughing like that does really take a toll on the throat. But it's fun doing that, though. Well, Mr. Godo, what's Mr. Atme's condition? He's still in the lobby, laughing insanely. So he's in the background like, ah! 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 You just hear him laughing, like, even right now, you just hear laughter. I wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. Well, it looks like the matter has been settled. I came previously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of Thief. Nick, you were right after all. Oh, well, it's over. We got it. Yeah, I guess Mr. Delight really wasn't the thief. The court fires the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. No. No! No! You're wrong, wrong I tell you. Uh, I mean, not exactly wrong so much, but actually not right is what I really was trying to say. Oh no, he's not. This can't be happening. The thief, the sneaky, odious thief who's been stealing all the treasures. It's me, I'm him! I'm the one you want. I'm the thief, I tell you. So do it! Pronounce me guilty, please! Awkward. I don't know what kind of can what kind of a kangaroo court you all think this is, but the true identity of the thief has already been proven. Please hurry and pass judge. What are you talking about? I already confessed. I'm the thief. I tell you. <laughs> Another coffee. Mr. Godo, don't just stand there drinking coffee. Ah, hey there, Mr. Thief. Y yes sir If you're really a man, then clean up your own mess. M I'm sorry. I'm afraid I just don't have any idea what you mean. If you're a master mess, then prove it. That's what it means. Y yes sir, I'm I'll be happy to. He says he'll be happy to, Nick. He's kinda cute. He's 100% committed to his fantasy. And he's cuckoo, cuckoo! Good boy. Just remember one thing. A boy only gets one chance in his life to become a man. I know that. I won't fail, I swear. Okay then, talk. We're all listening. Oh well. Let's all have a listen to this confession. So it's not over yet. Okay, cool. The truth is, I've been Master Mask all along. I mean, you can't prove that I'm not actually a Master Mask, can you? I don't have an alibi for the night the urn was stolen, after all. I donned my costume that night and dancingly descended upon the scene of the crime. Look, you can see right there in the photo, that's me. That's my cosplay photo. As for my brooch, I snagged it on the door handle and it got torn off, that's all. Cosplay is a weird thing, that's for sure. Who, are, who does cosplay? I don't like the direction this trial has taken. But this is how every trial goes. At least with me, anyway. Huh. You're doing great. <laughs> Stop it, Mr. Godot. You're embarrassing me. You're making me blush. <laughs> Stop it, you. <laughs> like I said, you're only going to get one chance to testify, alright? But if you make it through this with flying killers, I'll keep my promise, too. I'll make sure you stay locked up in prison as the one and only true Master Mask. Thanks so much, Mr. Godot. I, I'll do my best. This is weird. Alright, Mr. Wright, I'm afraid it's time for the cross-examination. Sigh indeed. His identity. Who could it be? The truth is I've been Master Mask all along. You may think you're the real Master Mask, but your wife thinks you're delusional. I haven't told Dusty yet, about my true identity, I mean. Believe me, I've got my reasons. With the way your room is decked out, how could she not know about it? Hmm. Even thieves have complicated, fa complicated family situations, I suppose. What should I do? It sounds like we're about to get sidetracked. Again. So why are you withholding the truth from your wife? Well, first of all, I don't think she believed me anyway. And second, if there's one thing that Dusty absolutely detests, 
It's CB going to sleep right now. Hurry, right, CB. Have a good sleep. Thanks for coming. If that's the case, then why'd you ever start thieving to begin with? Well, Dusty is crazy about shopping. She's a real shopaholic. But she's the love of my life, Your Honor. I guess you could say I'm a Dussyholic. Hmm. So you do have a complicated family situation after all. Alright, that's enough. Please continue with your testimony. I beg of you. I mean, you can't prove that I'm not actually a Master Mask, can you? Um, I thought you were gonna be the one to show us the proof. You know that you're the real Master Mask and not just some kind of obsessed fanboy? Hey now, that's not fair. Why do I have to do all the hard work anyway? Maybe because you're the one making the outrageous claim for a change? Come on, Nick, you know that Mrs. Delight couldn't have committed the crime. You're the one with the fancy law degree. It's time to put it to work already. I need some kind of proof that Ron couldn't possibly be Master Mask. Well, I guess if you had that kind of proof, we wouldn't still be here, would we? For the time being, maybe I need to shift strategy. I should try to show that Mrs. Delight couldn't have stolen the urn. Anyway, I... I don't have an alibi for the night the urn was stolen after all. Wait, you have many alibis. The, the, the wallet, you left the wallet at the KB security bu- You have many alibis. Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? Ah, yes it does. I, I had lost it somewhere. Mr. Wright, when you find a wallet, you should report it to the police right away. Uh, no, you don't understand. This is an important- This is a piece of evidence. Evidence? Mr. Delight, when did you first notice that you lost your wallet? Uh, let's see. I think it was on the night of the crime. But I know I still had it when Desi and I went out for dinner. This wallet was found at approximately 1 a.m. at KB Security Headquarters. What? Surely you're not serious. Yes, I am serious. This proves that Mr. Delight was in fact at KB Security that night. No! Yes! So if the defendant was at KB Security at 1 o'clock in the morning, then that proves that he had a watertight alibi. No. Furthermore, considering the distance between Lorley Taylor and KB Security, it would have taken 30 minutes to get there by car. According to Larry, anyway. Well, Mr. Godot, do you have anything to say? Drink? And stop drinking that coffee! No! Come on, Mr. Thief. Don't let this guy beat you. Tell him why he's wrong. You're the only one who calls me Thief, Mr. Godot. Alright, I'll try. I'll do it. I will. He's really got Mr. Delight all worked up. Yeah, he's like a kid at his first day of school. Look, it's just ridiculous. Why would I have dropped my wallet at KB Security? Someone must have planted it there to make it look like I was there and not at the heist. Planted it there? He's really reaching now. Mr. Delight, you probably dropped your wallet when you took it out to use this, didn't you? The keycard to KB Security CEO's office. No. Huh. That was a pretty good try, Mr. Trite. Unfortunately, you've overlooked one small thing. What? What? Motive, of course. Why would this thief go to KB Security in the middle of the night anyway? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, it looks like you need some more evidence after all. Ugh, this stupid kid. Now then, let's see your evidence. The evidence that shows why Mr. Delight went to the KB Security, why he went to the security office at 1 a.m. that night. Hmm. I really don't have... No, that's for the warehouse, though. Not there. Oh, it could be the blackmail letter, though. Hmm. Oh, yeah, the black the blackmail letter, 1 a.m. I'm a doofus. Mr. Delight, I believe you've seen this before, correct? Ah, th that's... What is it? A blackmail letter. That's what it looks like from the content. B blackmail? Yes, basically it says, bring $50,000. Hmm. In bit. That certainly sounds like blackmail, all right. At the time of the death, Mr. Delight was dealing with the blackmailer himself. In KB Security's EO CEO office, a full half an hour away from the scene of the crime. Ugh. Ugh. No, 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 no! How does somebody say no that many times like this? 
I can't do it otherwise. Snapple's gonna go all over the place. Oh my, that's some good Snapple though. So when the death of the urn occurred, the defendant was at KB security. It looks like a perfect case for the defense. You may see it as a perfect case, Judge, but to me... Well, let's just say that my Godot Blend 107 impresses me a lot more. What are you trying to say? Alex, you gotta go too? Oh no. That's alright, thanks for coming though. Hope you enjoyed yourself. You see the thief was being blackmailed by the CEO of a security company. But did you actually investigate the CEO at all? Huh? Well, um, no, I guess not. Accusing a man of blackmail with no proof, I'm not sure what I think of that. Huh, now what I sure I'm not sure what I think of that. At least I know what I think of you. Hmm, good point. I'm not sure what I think of it myself. You claim that the defendant entered the CEO's office, but you will need at least a you will need at least one witness to corroborate your claim, Mr. Wright. Nick, I think we're gonna have to track down the CEO guy. No, we don't have to track down the CEO at all. What do you mean by that, Mr. Trite? There is someone else who can testify. This is the person who can testify! Oh, of course, my best buddy, Larry Butts. Who, who is this useless looking young man? You don't remember him, your, you don't remember him, your honor? Hmm, not exactly. But just looking at his picture makes the bow start to rise in my throat. It looks like he doesn't remember the case from two years ago. He probably blocked out that memory on purpose. Deleted it from the memory card in your head. Anyway, this man was working as a guard at KB Security that night. Oh? The question at hand is this key card. Yep, that's the key card they use in the building I work. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. You needed to get into that room and every time you use that card it leaves a record. Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Hmm. As you can see, there's no need to investigate the CEO of KB Security. We should be able to discover the truth simply by analyzing this keycard's data. He's burning up again. And he's fine. Oh, phew! Did he really have to do a spit take? Really? He really had to do a spit take. I love Godo. That man is great. Well, Mr. Godo, the name of the CEO... The name of the CEO of KB Security is Kane Bullard. I was unable to contact him directly, but I got the keycard data. Here. So what does it show? Each keycard has its own serial number and they leave detailed records of their use. According to this data, this card was used at 1am on the morning of the crime. Gotcha. But that means... It can't be Mr. Delight dressed as Master Mask in this photo. Huh. It looks like you're right. Two minutes isn't even enough time to brew a cook a good cup of joe. So... So then... Rondelay was clearly in the office of KB Security CEO at the time of the crime. The prosecutor's office is ready to admit that fact. Therefore, it's impossible for the defendant to be Master Mask. Good job you did it, Nick! That's enough! I came furiously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. He said that already. Besmirching him with the title of Thief! Uh, what's wrong, Your Honor? I'm ready to pass judgment. But before I do that, do you have any further objections? No, Your Honor. Pass it. Hmm. <sighs> Very well. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. Not guilty! Yay! Case cleared! Dang. Krusty. Dang crusty. Nick, you did it! Oh, is this happiness music? Now this is the music that, sh that just sh sounds happy right here. You were right after all. Actually, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Nicky boy. Oh, Mr. Light. I knew you could do it. I believed in you all along, Nicky boy. I don't know how I can ever repay you. Aw, shucks. Thanks, Mr. Light. I just know I'm blushing. Congrats, Mr. Nick. 
Oh, pearls! I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Who is this woman? Oh, she she's nobody. She's just, uh... You're blushing! How dare you do this in front of Mystic Maya? You should be ashamed of yourself! Ow, she slapped me. Um, Pearly? This woman is Miss Desiree Delight. She's our client's wife. Oh! <gasps> Mr. Nick! Yes? You're even worse than I thought. Going behind the back of your own client. N no, you've got it all wrong. Ah! I'll never forgive you. Oh, double slop attack. Well, anyway, all's well that ends well, right? We got the secret urn back and the thief has been caught. You're so right, and it's all thanks to Nicky Boy here. But actually, it was you, Mr. Light, that brought us our urn back. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Oh, please, you're embarrassing me. If we won the case, then why does this guy still look so glum? Uh, but I am the thief. Actually, what's the point now? What is it, honey? I did my best for you, Ronnie. I know that, and I appreciate it, Desi. Desi. But the thing is, come on, give the kid some time. Oh, Godo. He's just got a little touch of the blues. You know about feeling blue, right, amigo? Mr. Godo, what are you doing here? Oh, come on, I just came here to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trite. Maybe you should learn my name before you call me buddy. Well, playtime is over. Playtime is over? Huh? Early this morning, the body of Kane Bowler was discovered. Kane Bullard? Where have I heard that name before? Isn't that the name of the CEO of KB Security? Wait, so there is a death? Body? The estimated time of death was 1 a.m. on 1... Oh! This is a twist I was not expecting. 1 a.m. on October 12th, you don't mean... That's right, amigo. At the same time that a cheap little urn was being stolen, the CEO of KB Security was being murdered. S so then what are you doing here? Oh, come on, you figured it out already, haven't you, amigo? Or have you already forgotten about that piece of info I helped you out with today? Help me out? What? On October 12th at 1 o'clock in the morning, Rondelite was in the CEO's office, the scene of the murder. After getting that blackmail letter, he must have been imbrued with utter rage. What are you saying? Imbrued with rage? Come on, don't tell me you didn't know. Rondelite was once an employee of KB Security. He was a professional security guard. An employee? Oh my goodness. You mean this case isn't over? We cleared him as a thief, but now he's a murderer. Oh my, he's been suspected as a murderer. Is going to be the news that gets him hanged. Kind of an anti-alibi. No way. He can't be the thief because he was at the murder scene when the murder occurred. No, that that's a lie. It can't be true. Oh, oh, but I I am a thief, I tell you. Ronda Light, you're going back to prison again. This time the charge is much more serious. This time you'll be tried for murder. What? This can't this is impossible. I'm looking forward to another exciting showdown, Mr. Trite. You and I aren't through with each other yet. Surely you won't be you won't back down from a challenge. You've never been a coward. Mr. Nick, is there something personal between you two? I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. At least let me have some fun while I'm here. This guy, who the heck is he? He may be quiet, but he's the most dangerous enemy I've ever faced. Yeah, he threw a coffee cup at you, of course he's da- Wait, more dangerous than Francisca Von Karma? She literally whipped you like many times. Well then, time to say goodbye to Mr. Delight. So wait, we're gonna have two court- two trials in one game? N Nick, how could this be happening? Right in front of our very eyes, our clan has been arrested for murder. And the one who established his presence at the scene was me. <laughs> Ronnie! Arrested for murder on the very same day he's declared innocent of larceny. What the heck is gonna happen next?
And it's gonna be t oh, two trials in one episode? Oh my goodness, that's a twist! And that is where we're gonna end. Thank you all for coming tonight. Thanks to everybody who's chatted, watched, and everything like that. I really appreciate all the support on this stream. I will be streaming again on Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see what up. Thursday night, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. Yeah. Hey, Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. Eastern Standard Time. I can't read words. I can't say words right now. But yeah, have a good night, everybody. Thanks for coming. May you all rest easy. See ya.